Hello everyone, my name is Rose Khatle and a warm welcome to my channel. On today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys my journey with the Implanon, which is a method of contraceptive or birth control whereby they insert a tiny rod subcutaneously in the inner part of your arm. If you can see where there's a little bit of a discoloration right here, that's where the Implanon is. Um, it starts roughly from here to here. So it is this big. Um, I've had it for about three years and since I'm about to take it out in a few weeks I just thought I should make this video for you guys telling you guys all about my experience with it So without wasting any more of your time, let's get straight into the video Okay, first a little bit of a disclaimer. I am not a doctor a medical profession or anything of that sort i'm just going to be sharing with you guys my opinion um and my experiences don't take it as the truth you're more than welcome to do your own research to ask the nurse or the doctor for more information just i'm just going to be sharing my own experience okay all right um so firstly let me just explain the background story of the how and the why right so it was december 2018 when my mom set me down and she suggested the implant not to me right her reason was because i was going to university the following year and she was like i know what you guys get up to in university and i just want you to be safe right and i know that contraceptives do not really protect you or prevent um stds but she just wanted to be rest assured she just wanted me to be safe in one aspect of my life right so she suggested that i go to the clinic and speak to the nurse so i can get more information on the whole thing right so i got to the clinic and the nurse explained everything to my satisfaction i just decided there and there um to get the implant and i was like whatever you know i was not really active at the time i just you know i did not mind it was not a big deal to me so i was like okay it's fine i'll get it so the insertion process was not painful at all i promise i'm the kind of person who is afraid of pain and the the pain the pain kind of like lasted for about less than five seconds you know they just put the rod in and then it's done right and um the only thing you're going to experience i think after the insertion is a little bit of a tingling sensation around the area but it's not bad um you're not gonna feel it afterwards it's gonna become like it's i don't know it's gonna be like a part of your body you know you're not gonna feel it you're not gonna it's just gonna be like your 207th bone if that makes sense so you, you cannot feel your bones can you so you won't be able to feel this um it won't be a remind there won't even be a little bit of a reminder that you have this at all because the scar is very small it's highly noticeable you go around you go about your life as normal right um after the insertion what they do is they give you a card I don't know if you can see it they give you a card like this um at the back they um as um date of insertion and also the removal date and all the details right that's what you get and then you're up to go right um right now i'm going to tell you guys about the short-term side effects that i experienced followed by the long-term side effects all right so let's start with this short-term side effects i think it was a couple of days later after the insertion I experienced a little bit of a severe headache. I remember I was sleeping and it hit me. It was uh, terrible. It was horrible. It was agonizing. Is that how you say it? Agonizing? The agony. Uh, it was painful, but it only lasted for a few hours. And I think in the morning when I woke up, the pain was gone, right? But I still went to the doctor. But I never really experienced the pain after that. It went away forever. So the second short-term side effect that I experienced was continuous periods. So normally I would go on my periods for like five days, but that time I think I went on my periods for ten days. So it was a little bit concerning. But after ten days, little did I know that was going to be the last time I go in on my periods for a very very long time. After that, I never really went on my periods for about a good year and a half right it was well at first it was nice at first it was nice not worrying about buying, buying sanitary towels not worrying about pmsing or craving so all the things that you worry about as a woman when you're on your period i was just 
yeah i was living the life i was i was i didn't have to worry about acne my skin was looking so good like my skin was glowing not even one pimple on my face right i had the most perfect skin everything was going so well i was happy like i was praising the implant on i was recommending it to each and every person i met it was ah, amazing right but i think it kind of got boring after like a year it kind of got boring because now everyone was always busy talking about their periods and cravings and pmsing and i started missing it you know i started missing craving um hot wings when I was on my periods, or just PMSing, going all crazy. I missed the drama. I missed going a little bit insane. I missed going a little bit psycho. <laughs> I wanted the whole theatrics of just oh, pure pains and, and oh, man, heavy flow. I wanted to speak about those things. You know, I wanted to engage in those conversations because now when, when they were talking about the periods, all I did was just be like, yeah, can't relate anymore. Now I'm about to discuss the long-term side effects, right? Long-term side effects. So after about a year and a half, I remember it was during the pandemic. It was during lockdown. It was around May, right? Oh my God. The first long-term side effect I experienced, I was excited for it when it arrived. Um, I got my period. It was in May of 2020, a year and a half later. I finally got my period. I was so excited about it. Like, I was aesthetic. I was like, I felt like a brand new woman, you know. I was like, yes, honey. So, I went on my period. So, my period went on for a week. And I was like, okay, okay, I don't mind. It's supposed to be five days. But I don't mind two extra days. Um, And then, two weeks, I was like, uh-uh. No. Okay, we get it. <laughs> okay you can go back now right um and then three weeks four weeks i was like no no this is not it i i know i prayed for these periods but not like this not this excessive so they went on for about a month and one week and then after a month and two weeks i was over it and let me tell you something it was not just regular periods like it was victoria falls nagara falls it was the, 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 is it the Green Canyon? What is this? Waterfalls, right? Um, it was heavy flow every single day. Like, I breathed. I move a little bit. I move a finger. I start speaking. Hey, let me not laugh. Or let me not cough. Because, wow just came down it always came down so that was concerning so after about a month and two weeks i went to the doctor and i told him about what was going on and he gave me pills so he gave me these pills there were 10 of them um to take for 10 days one a day um those pills were a blessing in disguise because when i got home i took one pill and um my periods just stopped just like that just stopped you know um, immediately after taking the pill, I could feel my periods just freeze, right? So my periods, um, stopped for about 10 days and after 10 days, they came back, right? But they only lasted for 10 days and then they went away, right? Um, ever since then, I started getting irregular periods. Um, even now, to this point, I'm still experiencing the same problem. Um, so my periods would come for a month and go away for three months <laughs> and they'll come for a week. And go away for like two weeks um but one thing about the periods is they were not like um heavy flow afterwards they were just spottings then there so my periods were not that bad but they were very irregular however they lasted for such long periods you know they they, they, they were very repetitive um i remember there was this month i would get my period for five days so monday to friday i'll be on my periods and i will get a break saturday sunday and then monday i'm back on again so it felt a little bit like a piss job it felt like a little bit not even a piss job it felt like it was um some kind of full-time nine to five situation did not like that that was traumatizing that was draining emotionally right um so like i said even now i'm still dealing with the same thing i feel like i've gotten used to it they have 
being on my period has become i know this is about to sound insane and psychotic and not normal but i feel like being on my period has become a part of my life being constantly on my period has become a big part of my life um it's a big part of my everyday life i already know that i might be on my period anytime and they might come for like two weeks straight without giving me any breaks um very dysfunctional very disturbing so guys i'm currently editing my video and i just realized that i left out a very important piece of information um so i forgot to tell you guys that each time i would get my periods longer than two weeks or each time my periods will prolong i would always go to the clinic and um the, what they would do is they would give me those um um contraceptive or birth control pills they are red yellow and white and um, they only give you the white ones um, as a way to control or to balance out your menstrual cycle so that it does not um, go longer than that so um, I forgot to tell you guys I know that in the video I described the whole ordeal or the whole process as hell well it was close but there's a way of controlling it now you know I'm sorry about that <laughs> my second long time side effects that i have experienced um just a disclaimer again um everything that i'm gonna say on my long term side effects started right after a year and a half okay so the second one i experienced was um acne hormonal acne <sighs> i think this was was it the worst for me i think it was like the third worst one um it was it was it was pretty bad i remember one day just waking up and my face was just full of pimples here and here like it was bad you know it was horrible and i was someone who has never ever dealt with acne ever in my life like i would get a pimple once a month or once in two months and it would go away so um going from that to now having to deal with pimples to now having to deal with um hyperpigmentation dark marks because i'm still going if you can see the problem hasn't really went away you know i still have the aftermath which is hyperpigmentation from the hormonal acne i'm still dealing with it however that one was horrible i remember it was during the pandemic i tried each and every um diy homemade um remedies to just you know apple cider i tried it bentonite um clay mask i tried it um lemon tried it I, I've, I've tried everything potato rice water everything my face has been through everything you know it was it was bad and the only thing i feel like that um helped me at the time was it was during the pandemic so i was not going anywhere i do not leave the house i would only go out at night like if you want if i want to go to the shop i'll go at night where everyone when everyone is indoors right so i feel like if you're someone who battles with acne this might not really be the good option for you um a good option for you but just speak to your doctor and see if you know but i feel like with a lot of um birth controls or contraceptives the main problem is acne so that one i'm still dealing with it um I am I, I break out sometimes um, um so that one that one was very bad you know that one was very bad it did a number on my self-esteem but what can we say we move we move we move so um the third one was depression mood swings emotional 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 wreck emotional roller coaster emotional being i don't think i dealt with depression after the pandemic i think it was more of like little drips and pieces of depression i don't know if that makes sense but i was getting a little bit of depression syndromes symptoms signs and symptoms of depression but not depressed as a whole so um but mood swings yes 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 every day beggily beggy um mood swings i was emotional i was emotional literally would cry when i'm watching a movie and the girl in a movie cannot find her shoes i'm a person who struggles with um anxiety so i think the internet made it a little bit worse than it was supposed or that it was before 
so um if you're someone who is prone to depression or anxiety or i wouldn't i would suggest that you speak to your doctor first because it can do a number on your emotions like it's not cute it's not pretty like you just but i've learned to live with it i've learned to soldier on i've learned to control my emotions i've learned to to get it together you know i feel like you learn but yeah at, at the beginning it was rough but now i'm older i got used to it the fourth the fourth side effect was tender breasts so 70 percent of the time my breasts were very um tender they were very sore um also my nipples were very um what is it they were very hard <laughs> most of the time they, they they were very hard and very um so like they were very they were very sore just wearing a t-shirt was painful or wearing a bra or any friction against my nipples just made them very painful not too painful just a little bit it's not like the kind of pain you cannot handle but is the kind of pain when you notice it it's very um uncomfortable you know um so if you're someone who doesn't like wearing a bra like me well you're just gonna have to walk around the whole day with the hard nipples why am i forgetting um weight gain weight loss this is like the fifth side effect that most people experience for me um no nothing i do not gain any weight i do not lose any weight i think my weight kind of like fluctuated with time sometimes i would gain two two kgs sometimes i would lose them sometimes i'll gain three lose two so it kind of like fluctuated with time right i think it goes according to your body um it goes according to your diet also i think that might play a role not sure um but for me it didn't really do much um if anything i lost weight um what's the other thing what's the other thing that i'm forgetting what's the other thing that i'm forgetting um but you know um i think this is just according it's going to be according to you um which method of contraceptive you you decide to choose it's according to you and which method of contraceptives you want to go for um just do your research um speak to people um don't take what people say as the truth um don't take what people say as the bible um just um do your research um online ask your doctors and your nurses um you know just explore your different options right um there are so 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 many different options so for me after this whole experience um that i've went through um with the implant on i'm not really certain which um what i'm gonna do when i take it out in a few weeks i have not i have explored i have explored my options um so far this is the better option i think um also doctors and nurses recommend it for younger people you know because it's you know you just it's a once-off thing every three years or every four years so it's not like pills you might forget to take your pill or you might forget to go to your to get the the, the shot or the injection um depot whatever you call it or you might forget to put on a on protection <laughs> please i i know and oh before i close this so for me for me i um i haven't decided yet i think i will decide in i have to decide in a few weeks if i want to get another implant or go for another form method of contraceptive or just not be on birth control what of any kind just let it be just you know maybe take a break or maybe just be off contraceptive forever i haven't really um weighed my i have tried to weigh my options but i haven't really decided yet right and people get contraceptives for different reasons um i don't know what your reason is i have my reasons many of them um but my journey has been bittersweet um i've loved it then i've hated it um so i think um from everything i've said um on this video you are more than welcome to ask questions so you're more than welcome to ask questions in the comment section below and i'll be more than happy to assist where i can um or where my knowledge um allows me 
um so that's it for today's video thank you so much for joining me thank you so much for watching um don't forget to subscribe like comment down below click the notification bell or whatever and also um please do um recommend videos that you like me to try or to do on this channel thank you so much for joining me um until next time bye